Hey guys, Josh Weebout here from Testing 1 to 3 Reviews, and here is the new lick of the day. Okay, so let's break this lick down. Starting off with the first part, it's this pentatonic um, barring hybrid picking run that um, players like Richie Cotson and Greg Howe use a lot. And it consists of uh, hammering on and barring with your third finger. And uh, for this we're going through various um, positions of the E minor pentatonic starting off in position 3. But we uh, deviate slightly instead of playing a B there we play a C. So. And then um, box 4. Mainly the D and, e, the D and G string, sorry, that one, and then position five, sh uh, box five, sorry. Again, just the D and G string. And what we're doing, uh, we're pl um, picking the low E string first, and hammering on with our third finger, and then barring the seventh fret of the A string, and plucking that with the middle finger on our right hand. So to get that sort of that um, motif going, just uh, practice it really slowly. Etc. And then basically we we uh, just ascend using that same motif. And then start sliding up pos positions of the pentatonic scale. which takes us up to the 12th fret. So that first part all together sounds like this, slowly. And then uh, we're in position one, just like down the octave, just at the, 20, uh, at the 12th fret, so usual pentatonic box. The old favorite. So we... Now I throw in this like um, vibrato technique that Greg Howe and Rich Cotson use a lot. Instead of doing that, they like to um, slide. Um, mainly takes place between the minor, th uh, the flat three, and the major third. So like that, it sounds cool. Instead of just doing that, it just adds a different flavour. So. And then I just descend down a uh, kind of mixolydian sort of thing, which sets me up for the next part of the lick, which is this tapping thing. Now I'm using all left hand hammer on, so I'm not plucking the strings at all with my right hand. So we start with the hammer onto the 12th fret on the low E string, and then 11th fret of the A. Hammer on with our little finger or third finger, whichever's comfortable, onto the 14th fret, and then we tap the 16th fret. So to get that going, just loop it really. Like that. And then you can just keep on looping that until you get it up to speed and clean. And then we take the same shape and jump to the D string, like that. So, so far we've got... And then we hammer on to the 14th fret of the B string, and then 12th fret of the high E, and then 16th fret of the high E with our little finger, and then we tap the 19th fret, pull off, And then we finish it with these two couple of bends. So, and that was simply just bending the six major six to the flat seven, hitting the high E, and then bending the flat seven to the root again. So that all together slowly sounds like this. And what I like to do when it's fully cranked up and everything is after doing the tap section, switch to the back pickup for the uh, for the bends because it just really 
makes it scream. Something like that. So, the, again, the lick sounds like this. Uh, and it sounds something like that. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, stay tuned for more Lick of the Day episodes.